army were rescued from the beachheads by the flotilla of boats and ships, many of them civilian ships and boats, rescued the British army so they could fight another day. They rescued to Britain. But what's not known or little portrayed is about the rear guard. Most of them were digging regiments and soldiers who gave up their lives, many of whom were killed, captured or wounded. Um, many of them were actually massacred by the SS. And this group of soldiers gave up their lives to, uh, to fight against the advancing Germans who were arriving in a pincer movement, all sides closing in the armies of Dunkirk as they were being rescued in the ships to keep to keep them protected this rear guard were formed to keep the Germans at bay while they were rescued and it's, it's down to this rear guard that many many at Dunkirk owe their lives to their bravery they, many of them knew that they had little chance of survival. Many of them heard those formidable words, for you the war is over, when they were captured. And they fought bravely. They had limited vehicles, limited defences, but they fought on so that their colleagues could get from the beaches. Some tanks, some cannons, a group, a group advancing on foot up to the front line, a group of injured, injured men. These soldiers were made up of some of them different regiments. And they fought hard to keep the Germans at bay. So that the beaches could be cleared at Dunkirk. A large amount of equipment was left, but many of the soldiers were able to get back to Britain to fight the war from there. As the Germans advanced in their light armoured vehicles and tanks, the British made up a stand here. Artillery, spotters, a number of Bren carriers here, a number of soldiers have already been killed. The wounded there. There's a mechanic fixing this Bren carrier that's, um, that's broken. Officers, all ranks remained. Fight. Standing shoulder to shoulder to beat off the advancing German attack. It was a very selfless sacrifice that they made, and it's one that's, although it was uh, Dunkirk, was uh, a fantastic miracle getting the troops off. This is very little. Little is known about these soldiers who stayed back at the rear guard to fight the advancing German soldiers. This uh, Blitzkrieg, as the Germans fought, was a lightning war and it took the Allies by surprise. They were able to get up the beaches and these troops bazookas, light arms. Defending fiercely. 
this part of France around Dunkirk. Some were in the berets, some were in the tin helmets, regiments, infantry regiments, officers and men alike. Radio men. Bren carriers were full of troops being being shuttled to the uh, to the front line. Continue the battle. The advancing half tracks and trucks carrying fuel because an army cannot move without fuel so the trucks of fuel are being brought up to the front the Germans used to bring wagons up carrying fuel drums to support the tanks and other vehicles so they were very good at solving the logistics problems which would have to have been thought of at the beginning in this blitzkrieg or land war